Here are the pictures now. You can just see the parachute and the probe underneath it heading back down to uh, Earth uh, in Inner Mongolia, of all places. It's had a long trip to the moon uh, and it's been the kind of exploration not carried out before. And let's just wait for it to land. You'd assume a yeah, fairly soft landing coming up with its uh, valuable cargo. There you go. Who knows what they're going to find uh, inside and how important that will be. Let's bring in Sky's Asia correspondent, Nicole Johnston, who is live in Beijing for us this morning. Morning to you, Nicole. Uh, just bring us the background on this because we seem to be in the middle of another space race and it's one aimed, you'd think, in the long term at colonising the moon in some way. There is a space race underway at the moment, but first of all, let me tell you why this is so significant. This is the first time that any country has managed to travel to the far side of the moon to land there and then bring samples back to Earth. So from the Chinese perspective, it is a major a scientific space feat for them. You can see uh, that capsule coming in. It was incredibly difficult and challenging assignment. And that's because the far side of the moon is not within the line of sight of Earth. So they had to use satellite uh, tracking to get there. There is a space race underway at the moment, China and the United States in fierce competition. Both of these countries want to get somebody onto the moon by 2030. It looked as though the United States, the NASA program was ahead, but lately there's been reports that China is catching up. So you can see just how competitive it is at the moment, and that's why the world will be watching on to what China has managed to achieve today. Why so much interest in the far side of the moon? Well, first of all, we know very little about it. Uh, this capsule rocket managed to land right next to a huge basin, about 1,500 miles wide. It's also believed that there could be water on the far side of the moon, and that is why there is so much interest in trying to land back there once again.